Hi. Hi, my name is Alani. A with drinkers. I'm four years old. What are you going to do today? Today, we are going to learn about my favorite story, Cinderella. What is the title of this story? Cinderella, the mice saved today. I open today. it, please. Read it. Cinderella, the mice saved the day. Cinderella imagined herself dancing at the royal ball. As she held her mother's old dress against her, it needed a few alterations, but they wouldn't be difficult if only she can find the time to do them. Cinderella stared her stepmother and stepsisters again. They were getting ready for the ball and wouldn't give they, they wouldn't give Cinderella a moment's peace. I guess my dress will just have to wait. The poor sighed, and she left the room. Jack, one of Cinderella's favorite mouse friends, said, No, what? Cinderella, not go to the ball. The other mice looked at him, startled. Walk, 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 he explained with disgust. She never get dressed done. Cinderella's animal friends decided to surprise her by fixing the dress. After all, she had been caring for them for years. Just that day, she had rescued her guys from a mouse trap. Then she had dressed him, fed him, and protected him from her stepmother's mean cat. So, together with the attic, her attic family lifted together. To you go back together. Together with the birds, her attic family lifted ribbons and scissors and soon needles to help make. No last dream come true. Oh, thank you so much! The beautiful girl exclaimed when she saw what her friends had done for her. So. Birds and mice were overjoyed to see Cinderella so happy. She deserved to have a special evening, never complaining for all she had endured from her stepsisters and stepmother. Cinderella still hoped that one day she would find true happiness. However, it was not long before her stepmother and stepsisters took hope away from her too. Tearing her beautiful dress to shreds, they left her alone, sobbing in the garden. There's the soothe a new voice. Cinderella's fairy. Guys, mother magically appeared. Dry your tears, she said. You can't go to the bar looking like that. Cinderella started to explain that she wasn't going to the bar. But her fairy godmother wouldn't hear of it. Waving her magic wand, she turned a pumpkin into a magnificent coach. Cinderella and her animal friends stared at the magic and amazement. Bippity bippity boo! sang the fairy.
gas muzzle soon walk up the mice including gas and jack were turned into proud horses as for cinderella her new gown shimmered like diamonds she stood staring at her image in the fountain with the speed it's more than i ever hoped for she declared her eyes sparkling when she arrived at the palace cinderella was swept into a dream world as she and the prince rode around the dance floor everybody turned to stare at the beautiful girl who had cut the prince's eye who is she they asked she must be a princess none could have imagined that only that day she had been dressed in rags never had seen the wala now known such happiness as the handsome young prince bowed before her she felt her heart pounding they danced together in the castle garden swept up in the splendor of the evening gazing into her eyes the prince leaned to kiss her just as the clock struck 12 when she heard the bell toll and well I remember her fairy cause mazus knowing that the spell would be broken at midnight she raised it down in the grand staircase leaving behind one of her dancing glass slippers the next day doing her chores again the younger girl hummed it dreamily realizing that Cinderella was the princess. Mysterious love her step was most elastically locked her in. Her attic room. No! Please let me out! Cried Cinderella. She knew that the Grand Duke was trying the glass slipper on every maiden in. the kingdom he would be here soon we've just got to get the key jack told gus despite the danger they pulled the key out of the stepmother's pocket and pushed it to pull in the long staircase with a last burst of energy cinderella is cinderella's Exhausted, her little friends were able to slip the finally to able to slip the key under her lock door. Oh, thank you! She cried, running down the steps. Cinderella put across the slipper she had left behind was broken. Pulling the other slipper out of her pocket, she called to the Grand Duke. May I try this one on? The perfect fit proves that Cinderella is indeed the young woman who had won the prince's heart. Jack and Gus cheered happily for their beautiful friend and Wally as they watched her dreams come true. And they lived happily ever after. We we end. Did you like the story? Yes. Bye. Boing. All right. Good job.